Just in time for holiday travel, this $88 million bridge on I-71 is complete. The orange barrels and the narrow lanes will be gone when families travel next week. Nine on your side's Jay Warren was there when crews cut the ribbon on the bridge. Jay? Well, Carol, there will be smooth driving through here very soon, says the Ohio Department of Transportation. We're on the south side of the Jeremiah Morrow Bridge, and gone will be these cones and barrels as soon as Monday. 40,000 cars and trucks cross the Jeremiah Morrow Bridge every day. And if these cars could see down 239 feet below from the tallest bridge in Ohio, they would enjoy breathtaking views of the Little Miami River. But driving through here for the last six years was less than picturesque, with all of the hassles that these orange barrels represent. Those who know all too well could be found at this truck stop in Morrow. It'll definitely be a lot nicer. Today was a day for the dignitaries as they cut a ceremonial ribbon while standing on the deck of this modern day Colossus. People will benefit from this project, benefit in terms of safety, economy and quality of life for decades to come. These cars were some of the first to cross over the new bridge, a bridge that could double the 50 year lifespan of the original which will carry traffic for only a few more days. And today at the ceremony, another original, 76-year-old Leon Gray, who in 1963 was a daring 22-year-old iron worker who often hung from a rope while working on the old bridge. I look back, I had, uh, I bought my first house while I was working on this bridge. I had my second son while I was working here. I quit smoking while I was working here and our president was killed while I was here, so that's quite a year. But for those who believe in the adage that things aren't built the way they used to be, take it from Gray, they're right. This new bridge is built better. The old bridge, if you're ever on it, it shakes. You can, there's always movement. This new bridge, you don't feel any movement at all. So this afternoon, a PR type from ODOT says, for sure by Thanksgiving and hopefully by Monday, when I talked to an ODOT worker out here driving a pickup as he was leaving for the day, and he says, Monday at noon. So we're going with Monday at noon. Jay Warren, 9 on your side, and Morrow.